Hello friends. Today we are going to study a few more commands from modify menu. Uh, today we are going to study this draft command, scale command and combine command. So for draft command. Draft command can be used when you want to create a face which is inclined with another face. So for uh, using draft command, you need to select a plane with which you want the face to be inclined. Okay, so uh, let me uh, select one plane. Um, so if I select this plane, and now I have to select the faces. Okay, I have selected this plane. So this plane will be inclined with this upper face, upper plane. Are you getting this? So you can change the angle as in whatever direction you like. And uh, this is how you can create an inclined face by using a draft command. Now let's see how we can use this scale command. Scale command is very simple. For using scale command, you just have to select the object and uh, you just have to specify the scaling factor. If I specify it as two, it will just increase uh, the size of the object twice. Here uh, you can also select uniform or non-uniform. This is uniform scaling. And uh, if you want the scaling to be in only one direction, then you can use non-uniform scaling. So you can select in which direction you want to scale more or less. I hope the scale command is also clear. Now let's study combine command. See, for using combine command, we need two bodies actually. So let me make it, uh, and let me change this object into something else. Uh, see, I have to remember the twenty mm by Um, so I have to specify the dimensions very carefully. So I'm specifying the length to 15 mm and uh, the width to be, let's say 10 mm. Okay, so I have created Uh, let me draw the rectangle again.
But before I draw the rectangle, I have to select the face. So I'm going to write 20 now. Okay, I have created uh, this sketch. Um, now I'm going to cut this part. So it's five mm. Ten mm. Okay, now I want to fit another part in here. So this is about but uh, this is this length is 10 mm and uh, this is some length. I'm just going to create another object like this. And I can fit that object into this uh, step like structure. Uh, let's create another. Sketch another object. Okay, now let's use this combine command. So you ha first have to select the target body, then select the tool bodies, and uh, perform the operation join, cut, or intersect. So I'm just going to perform join operation, and I'm going to create a new component from this. Uh, we first have to move the object. I put it in this place and uh, now let's use this combine command. So when I'm combining two objects, 
this is my target body and this will be my tool body now i'm going to perform join operation so these two will be now joined together and i have created a new component so you can use this combine command for uh, joining two parts of your object thank you we'll stop here